What's up Video Fort Nation? My name is Magic Bard. I'm assuming this is your first tutorial that you're seeing on our site. And with that being said, this is the After Effects Basics 2019 tutorial where I will show you the bare bones basics of what After Effects is. And then from there I'm going to say subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that way you guys can check out all the more advanced tutorials that we have and you can get into some serious compositing visual effects and motion graphics that we have on the channel so let's check this out and see how to use after effects what i'm going to do is when you open up after effects this is kind of what it looks like right so you're going to have your effects and presets panel your project panel this is where all your clips will lie this is where you will see um, your video and then your timelines down here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your footage and drag it into your project panel over here. Great. So now I have this sick footage provided by Storyblocks. Guys, if you guys want some high production value stock footage, Storyblocks has video, audio, Photos, they even have After Effects templates if you don't feel like doing the visual effects yourself. They already have this stuff pre made. So definitely check out Storyblocks where I got this nice little video of these planes flying over Lake Tahoe with this beautiful background. This is some high production value we got here. All right, guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your clip and drag it onto this little icon right here, with the, which is the new composition. And now we have a composition made up of our clip. So it's going to size it up, everything right, just like we want it. And now what you can do is you can trim it, okay? So you can set your in and out points, essentially. All you have to do is just trim the clip, click the beginning, and drag it over to wherever you want to trim it. So say I want to start it right about at two seconds. So I'm going to drag that bad boy over there and then maybe end it off at... 11 seconds okay so I'm gonna drag it and trim it down so now what I'm gonna do is we have all this empty space over here all this empty space over here we're also going to drag our work area over to the end and what I'm doing is holding down the shift key that's how it snaps and in the beginning as well shift and snap now what I want to do is right click on my work area and trim comp to work area so that will delete the very beginning and very end and now I have a nicely sized clip with a perfect sequence okay now what I want to do as you can see when you end up doing this trimming the comp to the work area you can see that now it doesn't start at zero seconds it's starting at the frame that I had the very beginning at so what I want to do is go to composition composition settings and go to where it says start time code because we don't want our time code to start at two seconds we want it to start at zero seconds okay so just type in a zero delete the two type in a zero press ok and boom there you go now we're starting at zero again so what could we do in after effects you say maybe we want to fade in and out okay so we're going to fade in to this clip. So what I'm going to do is hit this little carrot guy right here and then hit the carrot for the transform and then you could change all these parameters and you can see the stopwatch on all these guys. Basically what that means is you can keyframe it, right? So we're going to go to opacity, hit the keyframe for that, start it at 100% opacity so you can actually see it, drag your playhead to the very beginning of the clip and then drag the opacity from 100 so click drag to 0 and you can see it fade out like that. So where it's actually fading in and then say at the very end we want it to fade out for a second as well so drag it at eight seconds or a second away from the end and make sure you hit this little button right here this diamond to add a keyframe so we've added it at hundred percent and then we're going to drag our playhead to the very end which is right there and drag this hundred percent down to zero so now we've got a nice little fade out Okay, so guys, that's the basics of adding keyframes in After Effects, and you can imagine that you can keyframe just about everything in After Effects, so everything is editable, and you can see that by checking out all of our other tutorials. But in this basics tutorial on how to use After Effects 2019, what else can we do? We can add effects, so maybe I want to tint this, okay? So I'm going to go up here to my search bar, type in T-I-N-T, -T, 
to tint it. And all you have to do is when you find an effect you like, you click, drag, and drag it right onto your clip and let go and boom, we've got a black and white tint. And you can imagine that we can also keyframe these colors as well. So say that at the very beginning I want it black and white and then I want the black part. So I'm gonna hit the keyframe for the black to change to blue. So maybe two seconds in and you can see the keyframe right here. Two seconds in I want it to change from black to blue. So I'm going to click on that black bar right there and find a nice blue that I want to use. So maybe like a dark blue like right here. Press OK and then let's kind of see what happens now. So I'm going to drag my playhead. It fades in black and white and then turns to blue. Cool. Alright guys, so say that you and I'm going to X out of that. Say that you do all your animations, um, you add some effects, you add some keyframes, and now you want to see this in real time. What I'm going to do is drag the playhead to the very beginning and I'm going to render it out. So I'm going to go over here to my preview panel and hit this little play button which will play through the clip and you can see this green bar render out all my effects that's happening. And then if the playhead ever gets close to the green bar you'll see it kind of slow down and just kind of let your computer render it out and then once it does it will play back and forth just keep looping and looping and looping until you like what you see and then all you have to do is hit that space bar stop it and guys we just did a really quick really quick effect by fading stuff in adding a nice little tint changing the color of the tint um, as I said uh, virtually everything is keyframeable what else can you do you can add text so maybe we want to use this text tool so click on that and add some um, I don't know planes over the water what a great title all right cool so I've got my text and now I click on my selection tool and I can move this bad boy wherever I want I could size it okay so maybe I want it a little bigger and I'm holding down the shift key so that the ratio stays the same if I let go and I don't hold down the shift key we can do a little bit of stuff like this a little bit like that and boom bang bow wow we've got some cool text alright guys and just like what I was saying before you can keyframe this as well so if I open up my parameters you can see that I can move it in position I could scale it up and down right so that's what we were doing by playing with these um, red red handles and we can of course fade it in and out just like that okay so let's go back to 100 so we can actually see what we're doing here and maybe you know say that okay I want this to be in the middle but I'm not sure if this is the exact middle right how can you tell well you can go over here to your align Okay, so this is your align panel, and you can click that. I want it to center up horizontally. Okay, so this will center it up right in the middle there. And then I also want to center it up vertically. Okay, so it'll align horizontally, align vertically, and now this is perfectly centered on your frame. So the align tab is actually really nice to use when you're trying to do something like that. So, guys, that's how you use After Effects. You know, this is a super quick tutorial, just giving you the basics, getting your feet wet, a little dip in the pool, showing you guys what it's like to get into After After. Uh, what am I saying? Get into After Effects and have some fun, and um, yeah, just really play around with it. You'll learn a lot. Check out all the other tutorials. The more you do, the faster you will learn on video for it. Guys, I'm Magic Bard. Special thanks to Storyblocks for providing us with this epic aerial footage of planes flying over the water in Lake Tahoe. That way I don't have to risk my life flying on a plane trying to film stuff. I can just get it straight off of the website Storyblocks, which provides epic video, audio, and picture stock footage. Thanks for watching. This is Video Forward. I'm Magic Bard, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Be sure to subscribe, hit that little bell icon, and check out all the other tutorials so you guys can be on your way to becoming epic visual effects, motion graphics, and compositing artists. All right, guys. Have a good one.